Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I have another video for you guys today. Um, it is this beautiful, dark, sexy Playboy Bunny set. Uh, I did do it pre-pandemic, but it is, I think, perfect for this time of year. I tried to get this up for you guys before Halloween or around Halloween, but I epically failed. <laughs> I will make sure to list everything down in the description box below and I will be showing you along the way the products that I used so if you are interested in seeing how I created this set for you guys you know the drill just keep watching Alright my love, so starting off this set we are going to be coming in with CJP Slush Fairy and we are going to be applying that to the natural nail area on the pinky and the thumb. Um, the reason why we are going to be doing this now and getting it out of the way is because we are using such dark colors that we don't want to compromise that really soft pink. Now, Slush Fairy is one of those universal nudes that we all love, and I highly recommend it to everyone, especially beginners, because let's face it, in the beginning when we're first starting off, um, we can't afford to go out and buy every color of nude that there is to match every skin tone and every design. So, Slush Fairy is one of those color uh, cover colors that kind of eliminate all that it goes with everything so i will leave all of the information down in the description box below for all of the products that i'm using along with any discount codes that i have for you guys so make sure to check that out now my client does have some damage to her natural nail in that well nails and that's because on the last set that we did together she actually did not come back to get them soaked off Instead, she let them grow out for quite some time and then decided to bite and rip them off of her natural nails. And it left them looking very poorly. So that is a big fat no-no. Do not do that. I do not recommend it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to get that uh, this slush fairy all situated and then we will come in with the rest of our designs. For the middle finger, we're going to do a full nail of CJP Black Diamonds. And let me tell you guys, it is so gorgeous. It reminds me of the night sky. That's what it reminds me of. Now, when I'm working with dark colors, what I like to do, especially if I'm doing a full nail of it, what I like to do is I like to get the free edge completely covered, and then I'll start adding more beads, working my way up slowly to the cuticle area. Now I like to work at my own pace and I work in my comfort zone. So with that being said, I always make sure that I'm comfortable with what I'm doing because I feel like the more comfortable you are, the better application you're gonna get and the easier it's gonna be for you guys to actually you know, do your designs, stuff like that. I feel like when you're uncomfortable, you start making mistakes, you get nervous, you know, and then we're just trying to clean up a bunch of mistakes that we made. So. Go at your own pace. Don't feel pressured to, you know, put cover the whole nail with one bead or anything like that. Just go at your own pace and do what makes you comfortable.
On the ring finger, we're gonna come in again with black diamonds and we're gonna get that cuticle area nice and pretty because we're gonna be doing a marble with a glass tip. The ring finger is also going to be another marble nail with a glass tip, but instead of coming in with black diamonds, we're actually gonna be coming in with uh, carbon gray and getting that cuticle area nice and clean. Our marbles are actually going to be a stripey smoky marble rather than a swirly marble. And I'm gonna take black diamonds and I'm gonna place it over the carbon gray, dragging it up to one corner of the nail and then down to the other side. And then we're gonna come in with CJP Twilight Ghost and we're gonna kind of merge that into the black diamonds, creating that smoky effect. On the index finger, we're gonna do the exact same thing, except the marble is going to be in the opposite direction and we are going to switch up the colors. Now that those are done, we are actually going to be coming in with CJP LED Tack Free Top Gloss. Um, and we are going to apply it to all three of those nails, making sure that the perimeter of the nail is still exposed. So that way, when we go to cap it, the acrylic has something to adhere to. Now, the reason why I am applying this top gloss is because we're going to be coming in with some stickers from the Painted Koi. And in the past, I, when I would go to cap the stickers, like encapsulate everything, the like part of the stickers would kind of come up off the nail and then, you know, I'd end up filing off some of the stickers. So to get around that and avoid it, um, I started to apply the top gloss on top of the nail. And then I would just encapsulate it after, you know, I placed down all my stickers. So. Once we do that, we're gonna put it in the lamp, we're gonna cure it, and then we are going to come in with our stickers. So the stickers that we're gonna be using today are these super holographic Playboy bunnies and stars. 
Um, and again, if you have not gone and checked out uh, the Painted Koi yet, make sure to do so because I highly, highly recommend. She is amazing at what she does. She hand draws and creates all of her stickers and collections. So I will leave her information down in the description box below for you guys, along with her Instagram and website. I'm telling you guys, she is the bomb. So we're going to take this Playboy Bunny and we're going to place it on the middle nail. Uh, and then we're going to put some stars around it. And then we're also going to add some stars to the index and ring finger as well. Once we get our stickers exactly where we want them, we are now going to come in on the pinky with this gorgeous glitter called Glass Slippers from Miss Lucy's. Um, and we're gonna set it right beneath uh, Slush Fairy and we're just gonna kind of fade it back, uh, creating that beautiful glitter fade. And it doesn't have to be full coverage because we are going to come in with some black holographic in multi-cut down at the free edge, also from Miss Lucy's as well. Coming back to the ring finger and the index finger, we are going to take both of those glitters and we are going to apply them right at the end of that marble, keeping that tip nice and clear.
OMG, my loves. How freaking mouthwatering is that holographic? Oh my God, I love holographic so much. So on the thumb, we are going to do the exact same thing that we did on the pinky. We're gonna take glass slippers and we're gonna put it right underneath Slush Fairy and fade it back. And then we're gonna come in with that black holographic yumminess and put it right down at the free edge. And then we're just gonna blend those two together. So as if this set was not already hollow enough, we are now going to come in with these gorgeous holographic flakes from Miss Lucy's in silver. Um, and we're going to apply these to the middle index and ring finger. And this is just going to tie everything together. All right, my love, so this is the set complete, and this is what it looks like before I cap and file. And I will cap and file off camera, um, but I'm going to leave you to watch the top coat in peace without me hovering and talking through the whole entire thing. But I hope that you love this set as much as I do. I absolutely love how it turned out. I had so much fun creating it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please pop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I've missed you guys so, so much. And I'm so glad to be back. Um, but if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. Hit that notification bell so that way you never miss an upload. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.